James Webb Space Telescope discovers the origin of life. We give you a cordial welcome to this new documentary. If it is the first time, I introduce myself. I am the engineer Hidakal Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. Where we will show you the evidence of the origin of life that the James Webb Telescope has clearly captured in a wonderful scientific tour full of new information and exciting learning. Join me, thanks to Applied Technology, in this new educational adventure. From the perspective of an engineer. Let's start. This James Webb image is a high-resolution discovery of the origin of life, since it is the most recent and clear evidence of the origin of the universe and therefore of everything that exists in it, including our planet Earth and our own life. To understand this new record of the origin of life discovered by the James Webb Telescope, we only have to look at the sky and when we see the thousands of stars, keep in mind that what we see are the flashes of light from suns, stars and bursts of light that in many cases they no longer exist, but that when their light was last emitted it was at such a great distance from us that that light must travel for thousands of years to travel the distance at which it can be detected by our eyes. This emission of light, which is a discovery of the origin of life, was generated or emitted 12.9 billion light years from our planet Earth, that is, when that light was generated for the first time, so that it can be seen with the capabilities technologies of the James Webb, must have passed 12,900 million years of that light, traveling the immense path that separates us, at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. Let's see the fundamentals and scientific evidence, overwhelming, why this is a discovery of the origin of life. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. Dust you are, and to dust you will return. Genesis 319 what the James Webb Space Telescope discovered in high definition is the final outcome of a supermassive star, which when exploring generated a burst of light due to the release of energy that occurred billions of years ago, but whose emissions have not yet reached to where the planet Earth is by the distance where they occurred. But these light emissions can be captured by the James Webb, since with its instruments it anticipates the encounter and detection of these emissions to reveal to us the record of one of the first stars that were generated in the entire universe, a star that generated when the universe was approximately 900 million years old, at a stage after the origin or beginning of the universe with the Big Bang that is known as the Cosmic Dawn. This star would be from when the universe was approximately 900 million years old. Therefore, it is one of the first stars, that if we remember that the age of the current universe, estimated at approximately 13.8 billion years, what we are saying is that the light from this star took 12.9 billion years to reach us. That means that seeing this star and the records of its surroundings in the James Webb image, we are seeing the origin of the universe itself and in turn the origin of life. Well, life was generated from that moment we see, because the star in that image was wrapped in cosmic dust, all those particles that make up everything that exists in the universe and that are even present in our bones as human beings, that we are made up of the very essence of everything in the universe, as indicated by the United States Space Agency, NASA in this publication where it says, Cosmic dust in your bones, NASA's Webb Telescope will investigate the intertwined origins of dust and life. That is why NASA proposes that this image is a discovery of the origin of the universe and therefore of the origin of life, which thanks to the avant-garde technology of the James Webb we can see with this level of detail, in high resolution. Although the first record of this star and a contribution from what was the most advanced space telescope, until the arrival of the James Webb, the Hubble Telescope, were the Hubble Space Telescope astronomers who found this star in the year 2022, describing it as a star 50 times larger than our Sun, 12.9 billion light years from planet Earth and with a temperature close to 20,000 degrees Celsius. Its light, as observed by the telescope, was emitted 900 million years after the birth of the universe with the Big Bang. For what was explained above regarding the distance between that emission and the planet Earth, that light that we see, because now it is reaching us thanks to space telescopes, is the record of a star that no longer exists, that exploded when it ran out, leaving this record of that young universe, we are enjoying a window into the past of the universe of these first stars in these galaxies when the universe was young. 
something really wonderful and exciting, because also when seeing this star, we are seeing the most distant star known and seen by any human eye. The scientific community has named this exciting and wonderful star the Arendelle or the Morning Star. Arendelle comes from the Old English Arendelle, which appears in a poem from the 10th century AD. Referring to or describing the star of the morning, that is to say of dawn. It has this name because when the first stars appeared, around 400 million years after the Big Bang, it is what is known as the cosmic dawn, thus, this would be like the first star, the rising star. It is opportune to make it clear that these James Webb images were obtained from the first general images of the telescope, this is an enlargement resulting from an indirect observation. In other words, when the James Webb focuses all its power on the star Arendelle, within its next specific observations, the results of that observation will be unprecedented. What do you think of all these exciting discoveries that have been achieved with just a few images with the James Webb Space Telescope? I look forward to your contributions and opinions in the comments of this video, so that we can have a new scientific debate. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.